In American history, four presidents have been assassinated, and a handful have survived assassination attempts. Only one has survived two attempted shootings, and he's also the only one whose would-be assassin was a woman. In fact, they both were. This is the story of the two women who failed to kill Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford was president from 1974 to 1977. The first assassination attempt took place in 1975 and was carried out by a woman named Lynette Fromm. Her nickname was Squeaky, and she was a member of the infamous Manson family. Although she did not participate in any of the murders, she was a prominent figure during the trial. She stationed herself, along with other family members, outside the courthouse and frequently spoke to the press. She was also present during the murder of Lauren and James Willett in 1972. She was arrested in connection to this crime, but was let go due to a lack of evidence against her. Although most of Fromm's beliefs were, well insane, she did at least hold one mainstream political opinion, which was her concern for the environment, particularly the effect of smog on California coastal redwoods. She blamed President Gerald Ford for this due to him asking Congress to relax provisions on the Clean Air Act, and on September 5th, 1975, she attempted to assassinate him. Dressed entirely in red, Squeaky aimed her gun at Ford and pulled the trigger, only two feet away from him. The gun, however, did not fire, and she was tackled by Secret Service, at which time she cried out, It didn't go off! I can't believe it didn't go off! Fromm was not aware that she needed to pull back the gun slide to insert a cartridge into the pistol's chamber, although five years later, in 1980, Fromm claimed that she purposely ejected the top round from the pistol's magazine onto the floor of her apartment because she did not actually intend to kill the president. Whether you believe that is up for you to decide. This attempted assassination did not bother Ford at all. He wasn't scared and actually demanded his Secret Service detail let him go. He then continued to his scheduled meeting and didn't even bring up the assassination attempt until after they had talked business. Squeaky Fromm was sentenced to life in prison. The other imprisoned Manson family members, Patricia Krenwinkel, Susan Atkins, Leslie Van Houten, and Tex Watson, all later renounced Charles Manson and expressed remorse and regret over the heinous murders they committed. Fromm, however, remained devoted to Manson. She was released on parole in 2009, and as late as 2019, she stated that she's still in love with Charles Manson. Only 17 days after Fromm's attempt on Ford's life, another woman tried to finish the job. Sarah Jane Moore was a young woman whose friends described as having an obsession with Patty Hearst, who is someone I should definitely do a video on at some point. Anyway, Moore would later describe herself as being blinded by her radical political views, and on September 22nd, 1975, she attempted to assassinate Gerald Ford. She fired a single shot at him from across the street and missed. She raised her arm to try again, but was tackled by former Marine Oliver Sipple. The bullet from her second shot hit a 42-year-old taxi driver named John Ludwig, but thankfully he survived. Moore pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison. In a 1982 interview, she said the government was trying to kill her. It was very difficult for me at the time you know, to contemplate killing another human being. It was a shocking and, and, and awful or awesome thing to even contemplate. But something had to be done. In 2007, she was released on parole. Unlike Fromm, she regrets her assassination attempt, which she regularly talks about in the media. So, there you go, the only two women to attempt to assassinate a U.S. president. Both tried to kill Gerald Ford. Both were unsuccessful, both briefly escaped prison, and both were released on parole. Just an odd little piece of history I thought I'd share with you guys. I'll see you guys next time, and if you like this video, please subscribe, and I will...
hopefully have a video out soon. I know I always say that, but I've been working full time and it's really hard and I do apologize. Thank you so much. Bye!